Welcome to the NFL Thursday Night Football. It's the pregame with Coach Coyote. Alrighty, Coach. This is the uh, f officially the first week of the preseason. As many of the viewers know, last Thursday was the Hall of Fame game, which is the first game of the preseason, but not the first week of the preseason, because this would be officially the first week of the preseason. And it starts off Thursday night with the Detroit Lions at the New York Giants, and that's a 7 p.m. start, Eastern EDT. And then Carolina at New England. So the Carolina Panthers are at the New England Patriots. Now, the uh, both these games are televised, but they're not going to be televised uh like over the air, like at ABC, NBC, or or uh, CBS or Fox. I uh, my guess is if if s living in the Detroit area, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna be able to s probably see that on one of the uh, affiliates over the air. With with if you, if if someone doesn't have cable and wants to see the Detroit Lions. And if they're in the Carolina market, as being in New England, I'm gonna guess that the Carolina one of the Carolina uh, affiliates would probably pick up the game. It's a preseason game. And uh, well, from us coach, we're gonna be able to watch both of them because they're both could be on cable. Well, the coach and I will be watching the Detroit. And New York Giant game will be on. It's on TSN, and we. I also have the um, NFL Network, so I'm able to see the Carolina at New England Patriot game. So we're able to watch both games, and we could. I guess we'll go back and forth to which uh, which game we want to see at the moment, and uh, we'll start. With the, we'll start off with the Detroit and New York Giant. Now, uh, there's like, let's see, there's uh, been something about there's been a little bit of scuff. Like, the, what do they call it? The, uh, uh, the, like the, New, the Detroit and New York Giants were having a, a practice together. And some skirmishes broke out, as they, as they say, coach. And I'm like, I don't even know why they even do these things for. I don't, I, I totally don't get it. I don't understand it, coach. Like, if you're the Detroit Lions, do you really want Jared Goff? The, like, I can't imagine Jared Goff was in, in on any of these scrim, uh, scrimmages, uh, uh, plays with the against the practice, uh, like say a practice facility with the New York Giants. I, I, I just can't imagine like. Um, like, why would you want Jared Goff to be, that could possibly get a cheap shot from uh, a, a New York Giant player who probably doesn't even belong in the field? Like, he might not even belong in it. He might not have been good enough to ever make any NFL team. But here he is in a scrimmage practice, and he's going to be sacking Jared Goff, even though Jared Goff has got, they're going to try to blow the, uh, maybe even blow the whistle before the, it's just, I don't, it's one of those things that I, I can't figure out, Coach, and I don't even, I don't even care to try to figure out. I would not want my top uh, players um, playing against these uh, other teams that are in a scrimmage, and it's just, like, who, who knows what player could be out there? Same, Carolina has the issue with the quarterback right now, there's... there's they're they're probably really f figuring. And New England is gonna be with the quarterback situation. See, I guess with Detroit. Okay, so what I'm saying is the Detroit game, coach, is that we're looking at like okay, uh, Detroit. What they pretty well have their starters from last year. I can imagine. Uh, of course, being uh, quarterback is like the most important position on the team. Uh, most it's pretty well the quarterback is you got a good quarterback you're gonna make it far you need a I don't know, it's it's um 
you need a very exceptional defense to make a a, a, a moderate quarterback look good. So, but Jared Goff is a, is a good is a is a franchise quarterback, and I can't see Jared. Well, if Jared Goff plays tonight, I'm totally shocked. I'd be okay. I'm not sure why, but uh, I'm pretty sure he there's no need. The New York Giants. I don't know if you want to play Daniel Jones. Do you really? Jeez, oh, do you really want to get Daniel Jones hurt before the season even starts? I, I don't. Even, I mean, okay. Now, of course, the Tommy DeVito, because he, you know, he won. He was he won five games. Unless, is it, I can't remember exactly offhand right now. To, well, you know, he won a handful of games last year for the. Uh, last season, I should say, for the uh, New York Giants, filling in for uh, Daniel Jones. Well, filling in for who's actually filling in for uh, my name is escaping me, Coach. The uh, uh, the second string quarterback behind Daniel Jones got hurt. Oh, Tyrod Taylor, yes, I got it, Coach Tyrod Taylor. So, so he's so uh, what was it again? So. Uh, Tommy DeVito was filling in for Tyrod Taylor, who was filling in for Daniel Jones. So, you know, they, 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 they won a few games, and that was such a surprise. And so I could see Tommy DeVito playing in this preseason game. Uh, you know, just because he's he still has to make the team quote unquote I mean NFL is is not yeah you got your you got your Jared Goffs and you got your Daniel Jones are under contract you know like in this case of Jared Goff obviously he's the starter and, and Daniel Jones well it's like you, you got so much committed to Daniel Jones I'm like why, why are you gonna put anybody else right now unless they're very, uh, like they could do, very exceptional. And uh, so the quarterback situation is there for the New York Giants. And, like, what are they, how are they going to approach it? And mostly, uh, yeah, it's mostly second string right now, like second and third quarterback. Uh, and then... The Carolina situation, oh boy, they still have that, still have the rookie, and I'm not sure, well, they pretty well have committed so much to, to, uh, I forget his, I forget his name now, well, and, uh, well, the Carolina quarterback that was not, I remember, I did the draft too, coach, remember, and I, Okay, so, but I'll come back for it. I'll come back to it. So, the New England Patriots. Now, I'm going to look up New England Patriots right now. On the, okay. Uh, what I'm going to see is that the New England Patriots, uh, let's see. Me and Patriots, uh, I'm going to put the uh, roster right now. Okay, so... Okay, so we're looking at two possible quarterbacks right now. Drake May and Joel Milton the third. Now, let's see. Look at the official team roster and yeah, they're they're really looking for who who is going to be their quarterback starting game. You know, first game of the season and. I, I, I took the cookies. Come on, let's keep going. Let's see. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure why I, did, I had to just take it out. Okay, so 
Now we're gonna look at the positions here. Okay, so uh, let's see: centers, the cornerbacks. Okay, wide receiver, receiver, tight end, linebacker, safety, the corner, wide receiver, defensive end. Okay, quarterback, Jacoby Brissett. Okay, will Jac? I, 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 uh, it's uh, nine years. Nine-year veteran Jacoby Brissett. Okay, that's uh, that's Jacoby Brissett for New England. That's some insurance. Okay, okay, there's one that's listed on the. That's insurance. They they got at least someone that can handle the snaps. Okay, if if it's just if uh, let's see the other two look to see. Uh, they're. Your uh, status here, okay. I'm looking for uh, okay, uh, corner, corner, linebacker, okay. So, tackle, guard, safety, quarterback, okay. Drake May, okay, rookie, okay, from North Carolina. So, there's yeah, there's Jacoby Brissett, Drake May, and then uh, Joe Milton, the third, okay. So, I get it, I get the. The, the, the New England game is going to be a little bit more interesting in the sense of like the you know who, who of course the who's got the mechanics going for them right now for the quarterback position right now and I mean does it I mean this would be like Really, this uh, this isn't the game to see who the starter will be for the season. It's just well, see what they got. Uh, it's gonna it, it's what's mostly gonna be. It's just to see what they got. Do they have any other quarterbacks listed? Let's see. And they're full raw. The the okay. So is, okay, so those are the three they got. I, th I thought you had be able. To, okay. Oh, they still have Bailey Zappi. It's under the Z. Okay, so they go. Okay, so they're bringing four quarterbacks to this game. Well, I don't know if they're dressing all four. So I could see one per quarter. And I could see Bailey's Bailey Zappi playing the last quarter if or. Jacoby Brissett probably starting. It's a possibility, coach. Uh, Kobe Brissett is starting uh, for tonight's preseason game, and I'm gonna look. At, let's look at the Carolina Panthers situation because they're gonna have at least. Okay, so I'm gonna see the uh, Carolina Panthers roster. Okay, Carolina Panthers. I'm gonna just. I should hit pause, but. Okay, so the Carolina Panthers are a roster. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, so just go look for the quarterbacks right now. Okay, defense attack. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Quarterback. Okay, we've got Andy Dalton. Oh, come on. Andy Dalton. Do you really need this? Uh, does Andy Dalton need to start this game? I mean, a 14-year veteran. Does a 14-year veteran need to start this game? To I don't know. I, uh, I, that, that's, that's a total stability uh, move to... Have Andy Dalton is a quarterback. Something you need, you know. If uh, let's see the other, who else they got? This okay, uh, it's corner, you know, corner. Okay, I need another QB here. And looking for the other uh, QB listed. Let's see, QB. Okay, Jake Luton. Okay, so is this two years? Okay, so. Uh, Jake Luton. 
Okay, I can see Jake Luton playing in the third or fourth quarter. That's okay, Jake Luton. Uh, two, he's been he's two years uh, in the league. Okay, Jake Luton. Uh, let's see some. Let's see the uh, Jack Plummer. Jack Plummer, and like that's is that a rookie from Weezer? Is that any relation to? Of course, I'm gonna you know the obvious. Uh, this is Jack Plummer. And it was, it was Jake Plummer last night. And it says Jack Plummer. Okay, okay. So let's see. Uh, okay, so that's the QB, Jake Plummer. Jack Plummer it says. Okay, and looking for the other QB listed. Okay, we're on the T's. Okay. There you go. Oh, there's Bryce Young. Okay, Bryce Young. Okay, Bryce Young. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, there is a real quarterback situation going on in uh, Carolina. And they really, like I said, they really want Bryce Young to, to, you know, to see what he got with Bryce Young. And... And I'm going to say that Andy Dalton is definitely just an emergency. Like, at least to have a, a, some, a presence that, like, if it's just, you know, you do, like, you know, Jake, at least they have a quarterback. Okay, so what? Well, I'll just... I just decided to look up more information on the game and more information on the game and it's just it, well it's cool coach hey we have to say that it's it's only preseason we understand it's only the first week of preseason uh see it's a trial you know for the Thursday night football uh, trial we uh see last week we kind of just kind of went all over the place and I was trying to fill in content and I'm going to say that, well, there much, to, it's really hard to report on a game, like to do a Thursday night football coach when it's, it's for the complete, as they say, the, 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 the true ins, insanely uh, NFL football fan that, Watching preseason, and it's it's just like crazy the situation. Crazy uh, with the Olympics happening and coach. Do I? I don't know. I, do I, I could watch. I could, you could just watch the Olympics, uh, like the replays of it. I'm, I I I don't know. It's just weird. I mean. I, I'm fi coach, I'm finding that I actually just, I'd rather just I'd, I'd rather watch NFL preseason than watch Olympics, which is really odd to me in the, sen in the sense that like well, I got there's a there's a whole season to, uh, NFL football, but yeah, I I I I'm, I'm just uh, so interested. I, 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 I'm not gonna do a Friday night show and a Sunday, you know, on a Saturday night show and of uh, the uh, pregame shows, but there's there's football, NFL football tomorrow night, and there's NFL uh, football on Saturday night, and I'm just like, I'm just like, uh, well, you know, I get to watch all these uh, preseason games. Oh, there's the Buffalo Bills. Well, well, we are we. we well, I, I tried. I'm gonna try to do Buffalo Bills. Uh, uh, well, I, I think I'm gonna do more of the uh, live stream watch parties this time. Live reaction watch parties with ketchup and barbecue munchie coach. I mean, you do the pre games and the post game. But the Buffalo Bills games, I'll, I'll just be doing the live stream watch parties. 
And I don't know if I don't know if I want to do the play by plays again. I could just do a, a, a little bit of play by play and, and and live reaction and analysis. So I could I can have uh, have ketchup and barbecue uh, munchie. Just uh, still have them. Uh, like, you know, still have a live stream with them, but n not as like the dedicated play-by-play uh, -play with uh, in-game analysis and try to keep the score. It's just too hard. I, I get tired so fast, and I'd rather just do it like I'm doing now. Just being able to just uh, lie down here. And, like I'm at the, as you know, coach. You could see. I know you you could see me, but like you know. The, uh, you, if uh, if if I was to turn the camera around and show where I'm doing, where I, or how I am, it's mostly just lying down the opposite end of the bed. Like I, I'm, my head's at the foot of the bed, so I can uh, be close to the uh, the camera. I can still see the television. I just look up. I just I just I'm just on an angle when I when it comes time for the uh, the the, uh, the live stream and the which I'm gonna do the like the, the watch party live stream reaction live reaction watch parties. It's just I'm gonna be like on an angle, be able to watch the play, and you know, like I'll, I'll work it all in. I don't want to get too tired. I get so tired easily now, coach, and you know, I just don't, I just don't want to be. So easily, quickly tired out. So, well, well, just wrap this up and uh, load this uh, video up. Uh, and uh, what I'm gonna say is that we, well, we we have a lot a lot of preseason still left, and another two week, two more two more games after two more two more weeks after this one. And then we start the first game of the season, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I've always liked preseason, and it's just I, I, I used to, I used to just remember like you know, even when I was young, watching preseason games, and um, it wasn't as TV as much, you know. It was mostly that like people would remember at a certain age that like the preseason games. Well, if you're if you're in a, if you're in a uh, if you're near a market that's uh, got a NFL franchise, like if, if say like in Ontario, Canada, you, you you got lucky that you could be in the Detroit area or the Buffalo, New York area, either or, and you'd be able to watch preseason games because they will show the preseason games for their you know for the like Detroit market for the Detroit teams. And Buffalo would show their Buffalo uh, uh, games, but well, I had cable, so I was never uh, even back in the day. I had ca cable, so yeah, I was always watching preseason, and I still remember being young watching preseason games on a Saturday night. You know, it was really uh, odd to me too. Is like I'd be the one that said like a nightclub back in the day. And who, who disco ball? <laughs> well, uh, I be I, I, I don't know how I, I, I used to go to nightclubs and just to go do something to have something to do. I didn't really, I didn't really nightclub it up. I wasn't that type. I was just there. I was just. I just felt like I was an extra there. Like they hired me as to fill and just to blend in with the background, and. uh well, for me, it was like, I, I kind of liked it when I went to a place like, and they were showing the football game. I'd be watching the football game, but I couldn't hear it half the, three quarters of the time. It'd be like, wouldn't be able to hear the football game at all. But it didn't bother me because I would be like, coach would be like, uh, watching the football game. <laughs> and, and I still remember, like, Saturday night, and I'm watching NFL preseason, and, and like, yeah, that's a different world. We, uh, it just it just goes to show about lifestyle nowadays. Is 
geared towards watching, viewing uh, uh, football first and foremost, and then after that, it's whatever sports around. And uh, it's just saying, like, I, yeah, it just it just brings me back to the day, you know, to uh, like just be able to like I don't know, it's just. Well, I, well, I, I guess, I guess there could be still people like me out there in this world we live in where they're kind of going to night. I'm not. It's kind of bizarre this whole idea that I used to go to night, coaches. I know this is a preseason uh, Thursday night football pregame with Coach Coyote here. And it's 2024, and and I'm talking about like something that's like my gosh. I, <laughs> It could be, it could be such a long time ago, and uh, decades ago. Uh, I'm watching preseason football at a nightclub, like I'm talking with the old dance clubs, like you know, like I, especially when I was at the last stages of my like going. When I finally go, I can't, I don't feel like going to these nightclubs anymore. I don't, I don't know the heck I'm going for. And, um, it's, it's just that, like, I, I just, yeah, I mean, this Saturday night would be an example of, like, if I was, like, of 21 years old or 22 years old, single, or you could be attached, would I be going, well, I'm going to the nightclubs, and here I am going to a nightclub, and I could see, I could see, even though I, even though I'm like right now, I'm 22 years old right now, coach, I could see myself this Saturday night going to a nightclubs, because everybody else is there, or whatever, you know, and well, within your peer group, as they say, they're there, and. I'm more. I'm more interested in watch. I'll be. I'd be more interested in watching the uh, preseason game that's on Saturday night. <sighs> yeah, that's uh, well, like I said. I, I'm just, like I. I'm just. I'll be looking forward to watching the uh, preseason game tonight. And both of them. And, and to me, like the treat is that there's two preseason games tonight, and that's a and that's a treat for both of us, eh, coach? So, so both uh, we'll have a well, what we'll do is we'll have also we'll have a uh, a post game show with Coach Coyote, but it's going to be a live stream again. The post game is easier to do a live stream, uh, and then uh, we'll we'll do a quick promo at halftime. At one of these two games, whenever one of these two games start at halftime, we'll we'll do a quick promo. Uh, and uh, cause again, I gotta shut the I gotta shut the volume down. I gotta turn the volume right down to do the promo, and uh, and then we'll, the promo that the uh, live stream uh, will be immediately following both uh, completion of both games, or you know, uh, with one or whatever game finishes first, uh, go to the other game, and I'll start the live stream from there because the I'll have the score up for the for the other one, and the other one will be current. Uh, how much time is left, you know, and kind of do a quick watch, re live stream watch reaction party as we're, as we're doing a post game show. So it'll be two shows in one coach. Alrighty coach. I can't wait till we are going to be able to watch both these games tonight. So for both coach coyote and I, we're both saying over and out. I, I know it's not, there's not much analysis of the game, but it's, I'm starting to wonder if I should just wait till the uh, official Thursday night football first game of the season, or uh, to like, uh, I I just don't have uh, I don't have much to analyze is because it, it, there's going to be so many players on the team that they're going to be cut, and I guess notables to remember in the future, like oh I remember that player that played in that preseason game and three years later he's starting 
Okay, with that, Coach, I'd say that we're both of us are saying over and out.